Chapter 47, Duo Ming's Sword The crowd was looking at Ji Yu Ching Jr.'s dead body lying on the ground of the northern stage. He had been killed with a single strike which was so fast that many could only see Lin Fang sheathing his sword. Not only had the strong and powerful Ji Yu Ching been killed in a single strike, but he had also been killed in the blink of an eye and had been given no chance to surrender. That sword, how fast, how skillful, said a man in the crowd, mouth wide open, almost drooling. They hadn't even been able to see what had happened as the movements were so fast. The crowd was unable to see what kind of sword skill had been used by this mysterious masked disciple. They only knew that it had happened with extreme speed and precision. The sword had disappeared as quickly as it had appeared. Only someone who had practiced his skills to perfection was able to carry out such precise attacks, his sword looked like an agile shadow that avoided the gazes of the crowd. The crowd was looking at Lin Feng and thinking about the flash they had just seen. He had obviously used a sword skill during that split second and with it unleashed devastating power. He had been able to kill Ji Yu Ching Jr. with ease. Amazing. Feng Qian was looking at Lin Feng speechless. He imagined what would have happened if he had been the one fighting against Lin Feng. He would not have noticed the sword before his head was already removed from his body. Even if what had happened the previous day had changed his views and had made him more determined and respectful, even with a few more years of cultivation, he wouldn't want to face the Lin Fang before him. Ji Yu Ching Sr. stood up while looking at the battle stage. His face grew red with fury and his face viciously twisted in anger. While looking at his son's headless corpse on the battle stage, he released an extremely strong chi. Ji Yu Ching Jr. was dead. One of the most outstanding junior disciples of the Ji Yu clan was dead. He hadn't been able to even react to his opponent's sword. Ji Yu Ching Sr. hated Lin Fang from the bottom of his heart. You dared kill him, said Ji Yu Ching Sr. in a voice which sounded like a thunder which made everyone's heart beat faster. Lin Fang raised his head and looked at Ji Yu Ching Sr. who was in a towering rage. Lin Fang's pupils were pitch black and he then said, Are you insinuating that I should have stood here and done nothing and just let him kill me? How stupid are you? When Ji Yu Ching Sr. heard these words, he remained silent. He really wanted Ji Yu Ching Jr. to kill Lin Fang, how could he not allow Lin Feng to kill Ji Yu Ching Jr? In life, there are such principles as defending one's own life. Because Ji Yu Ching Jr was a member of the Ji Yu clan, he thus wanted Ji Yu Ching Jr to kill Lin Feng. However, Lin Feng killing Ji Yu Ching Jr, even if it was justified, was still a crime in his eyes. You're very good. You will not live much longer, said Ji Yu Ching Sr in an indifferent tone. He had made no attempts to conceal his killing intent. As the crowd heard these words, they felt compassion for Lin Feng. Even though he was extremely strong and had been able to kill one of the most outstanding disciples of the Ji Yu clan with one strike, there was no chance that the Ji Yu clan would let him leave alive. My name is Duo Ming, said Lin Feng while looking straight into Ji Yu Ching Sr.'s eyes. He then went down off the stage and his voice echoed throughout the arena as he said, If any of your Ji Yu clan cross paths with me, I will decorate this arena with their heads. The crowd was stupefied by Lin Feng's words. It seemed like he had directly challenged the powerful Ji Yu clan and spat in their face. He sounded insane, too insane. He had also sounded insufferably arrogant. He was an ordinary young man and he surprisingly dared threaten the large and powerful Ji Yu clan. He said that he would kill any of them if they found themselves in his path. He was challenging the entire Ji Yu clan. He was defying all of its members. Obviously, all of the young members of the Ji Yu clan who heard him burst into an uproar and cursed in rage. However, even though the words coming out of their mouths were fierce, many of them were extremely nervous. They thought that the best thing would be to never cross his path. He had killed Ji Yu Ching Jr. with a single effortless strike. In the Ji Yu clan, except for those of the Ling Chi layer, they feared that nobody would be able to fight against Lin Feng in return with their head. The best result would be to have Lin Feng fight the stronger members of the Ji Yu clan, like Ji Yu Yan, that way, he would be able to avenge Ji Yu Ching Jr.'s death. They had no doubts when it came to Ji Yu Yan's strength. He was a cultivator of the Ling Chi layer. Lin Feng would never be able to compete with him even if he was extremely strong. If I come across him, his death will be tragic and brutal," said Ji Yu Yan standing amongst the other members of the Ji Yu clan while looking at Lin Feng with ice-cold murderous intentions in his eyes. He would kill him and torture him to regain the clan's face. The first round hadn't taken a lot of time and now it had come to an end. There were 20 people left within the tournament. There would be two more fights on each stage and 10 people would be remaining. In this round, Lin Feng wasn't going against a member of the Ji Yu clan. He was going to fight against an amazing and outstanding member of the Na Lan clan, Na Lan Chen. If you can fight, then fight, if you don't feel like fighting, then just surrender. Said Na Lan Feng to Na Lan Chen, as before she was setting herself high above the others in an arrogant way while looking at the northern stage. Alright, said Na Lan Chen while nodding but he was eager to test his strength. Even though he wasn't as famous and popular as Ji Yu Ching Jr., he was also at the ninth Qi layer, he thought that Ji Yu Ching Jr.'s reputation was undeserved. He thought that because Ji Yu Ching Jr. had underestimated Lin Feng, he had caused his own death to be so swift. 
this time, Na Lan Chen was definitely going to defeat Lin Feng and make himself famous and gain the status and respect that came with it. You are listening to Peerless Martial God Audio on Light Novel Aloud. Lin Feng, whose face was still under his mask, was looking at Na Lan Feng with an ice-cold glare. If they could fight then fight, otherwise just surrender? What was that supposed to mean? Lin Feng hadn't forgotten what had happened on that night when the Na Lan clan had sent their clan members to chase and kill him. All of that had happened only because he had refused to allow Na Lan Feng to sit down on his table. I will use all my strength in this battle. I will make you lose. I will show everyone how prestigious and powerful my clan is compared to others. Said Na Lan Chen while staring at Lin Feng and getting prepared to fight. All right, let's start quickly then. Said Lin Feng while smiling coldly. He wanted to see how powerful and prestigious the Na Lan clan really was. Divine Arm Spirit. Even though Na Lan Chen wanted to protect the Na Lan clan reputation and make it even more famous, he still didn't dare go easy on Lin Feng. Therefore, he released his spirit. Behind him had appeared a thick and muscular arm spirit, reaching towards the sky as if it wanted to climb its way to the heavens. Only those who are directly blood related to the Na Lans possess that divine arm spirit. How majestic. It is said that the divine arm spirit can give its owner the strength of a god. How could one defeat the possessor of such a powerful spirit? One punch and his opponent will be killed. Because he had released his divine arm spirit, Na Lan Chen was extremely confident and carried out a ruthless surprise attack towards Lin Feng. Divine Punch Na Lan Chen shouted. His punch hadn't reached its destination yet but aura surrounding the fist was breaking through the air and shattering the atmosphere. It was clearly a elemental force. How powerful, so that is the strength of that divine arm spirit which can only be possessed only by members of the Na Lan clan. Not only is Na Lan Chen already at the ninth Qi layer but he can already use elemental forces. The whole crowd was stupefied. Lin Feng was surrounded by the strong qi contained within the punch and the air was distorting around him. The shadow of a fist had filled the entire sky. Do you want to die? Lin Feng said. A cold silver light flashed through the air. Brilliant rays of light filled the atmosphere. With only one strike the gigantic fist shadow had completely disappeared without trace. There was only the resplendent light of Lin Feng's sword which at this moment looked glorious. Na Lan Chen's facial expression had changed. He didn't stop releasing punches which made him step back each time. He had prepared a chain of strikes in case his first strike had failed. Die. Lin Feng said only one word and Na Lan Chen felt like his heart had been stabbed. The overpowering light suddenly burst out from the sword, it burst through the atmosphere and then penetrated deeply into Na Lan Chen's throat. His body was sent flying backwards, his body landed heavily on the ground and his head was only attached by a small amount of flesh, there was a huge hole through his neck. His eyes were open wide and were filled with complete shock. The divine arm spirit of the Na Lan clans was able to accomplish great miracles, but Lin Feng's sword was also able to accomplish great things. The sword strike is strong, but its user is terrifyingly strong. When the crowd saw Na Lan Chen's body collapse, they felt chills running down their spines and they were staring blankly at Lin Feng. As before, one strike had been enough to kill his opponent. Na Lan Shang, the head of the Na Lan clan, was also seized with terror and was rigidly staring at Lin Feng. You are damn brave. You surprisingly dared to kill a member of the Na Lan clan. After a moment of hesitation, Na Lan Feng shouted those words extremely loudly and angrily towards Lin Feng. Lin Feng raised his head and looked at Na Lan Feng. Then, he smiled coldly and said, I understand your rules now, Na Lan clan members are allowed to kill others, but others are not allowed to kill members of your clan. You're really beyond shameless. You, Na Lan Feng said furiously and then stopped herself. She didn't know if she should reply. Just wait until you fight against me, said Na Lan Feng looking glum. Her beautiful eyes were filled with killing intent. Lin Feng ignored Na Lan Feng's remark immediately turned around and came down off the stage. He didn't feel like speaking useless words to children. Duo Ming, he looks like a conqueror when he uses his sword. Everybody was looking at Lin Feng and sighed with jealousy. Only a fearless or an extremely brave person would dare to provoke Lin Feng again. Those who hadn't been eliminated yet also looked concerned. They were all sighing and hoping that they wouldn't have to fight against that him. That would be the best possible scenario for them. That guy was able to kill with one swift strike and when fighting against him, there was absolutely no chance to surrender the fight before he attacked. The second round came to an end very quickly and only 10 people were left. 10 people left, 5 stages. Another round would be enough. Have a quick rest and then we'll continue with the third round. Announced the old man who had stepped on the stage. The crowd was slightly disappointed. They couldn't wait to watch to watch the next battles. There were 10 people left. All the clans had their main representatives in the remaining disciples. The Lin clan still had 2 participants. Against all expectations, the Giyu clan only had 1 person left. Those who were left were the strongest within the tournament. However, all eyes were fixed on the masked disciple, Lin Feng. This round should be amazing considering the strength of those left. It is very clear how strong they are. Na Lan Feng, Lin Qian as well as Wen Zhang should be the three strongest. Then there should be Ji Yu Yan of the Ji Yu clan and Shu Lan. 
Then, there is Lin Hong of the Lin clan who has already broken through to the Ling Qi layer. As far as the extremely strong yet arrogant Duo Ming, those who haven't broken through to the Ling Qi layer shouldn't be able to defeat him. If he's lucky, he should be ranked 7th. If he's lucky, he should be able to move on to the next round. The crowd was discussing the upcoming rankings. Everybody else nodded showing that they agreed with the previous statements. These should be quite accurate predictions. If Duo Ming managed to be ranked directly after those who had reached the Ling Qi layer, that would be beyond extraordinary. End of chapter 47. Hope you guys enjoy the chapter. Please consider subscribing and hit that bell button for future updates.